but let's kind of just share with you who we are for those of you that may not know us as Wakana. And again, I would suggest get paper and pen because there's going to be some powerful information shared uh, with, uh, with many of you today that maybe you don't know and will be very, very instrumental in your life and your livelihood. But let's check this out first. Let's kind of mute everybody here, except for those of us. All right. I've been wondering how to find you. I've been looking for you. Should come to Wakanda, so what you trying to do? I've been meaning to remind you, to remind you. See, I had so much on my mind, yeah. I've been wondering how to find you. I've been looking for you. you should come with me to Wakanda, so what you trying to do? I've been meaning to remind you, to remind you. See, I had so much on my mind, yeah. Don't go nowhere without my CBD. If you know me, it's with me anyway. You seeing me, got it on me. It's my only way of freeing me all on my only. By my side is never leaving me, I'm never lonely. Here to get you through them late nights. No sleep, feeling anxious when you take flight. You so free, you can use it for them back pains. The small knees, that feel special, got me right, man. Could go to sleep, ain't gotta worry about no laws, man. No police to try to tell you that it's all the same. They so sleep, but they can fly. I went in the Hall of Fame and quote me Cannabis is good for everything, nobody oldies they light us up for this flower. Left us in the dark to get devoured. Left us in the grave with no flowers. Now it's all time, it's all hour. This storm coming, no showers. Eight springs louder, scream louder. Let's make room for this flower. We can all bloom with this flower. They light us up for this flower. Left us in the dark to get devoured. Left us in the grave with no flowers. Now it's all time, it's all hour. This storm coming, no showers. Eight springs louder, scream louder. Let's make room for this flower. We can all bloom I've been wondering how to find you. I've been looking for you. Should come with me to Wakanda. So what you trying to do? I've been meaning to remind you. To remind you. See, I had so much on my mind, yeah. I've been wondering how to find you. I've been looking for you. you should come with me to Wakanda. So what you trying to do? I've been meaning to remind you. Meaning to remind you. See, I had so much on my mind, yeah. I've been wondering how to find you. I've been looking for you. you should come with me to Wakanda. So what you trying to do? I've been meaning to remind you. Meaning to remind you. See, I had so much on my mind, yeah. I've been wondering how to find you. I've been looking for you. you should come with me to Wakanda. So what you trying to do? I've been meaning to remind you. Meaning to remind you. See, I had so much on my mind, yeah. Right, so again, welcome, welcome, welcome everybody to our first of our series of educational Zooms regarding plants over peels. One of the reasons that Karen and I, as we were talking, we really want to do this is because it's so much a part of the movement that we have going on here at Wakana. Because our, our motive and our, our whole objective is to help end this negative stigma about this plant, about plants in general, right? because that's keeping us from benefiting from so many things that are definitely available to us. And that's what we are. We're stirring up a movement. And we want people not only to be educated, but to get on this side of the legal side as entrepreneurs, formulators, investors, and then really, really, really have the courage and the strength to take back their health, wealth, legacy, and their freedom. Our company was started by four phenomenal, phenomenal women, Dr. Rita J. McGuire, Dr. Patricia Van Pelt, Melissa Boston, and Phyllis Nass. We call them our C-suite. Dr. Rita McGuire, she's our chief medical officer and she's an obstetrician gynecologist for over 30 plus years. She's an expert in the field of cannabis and she's such an expert that she was asked by the Judiciary Committee to testify in front of the, of the Judicial Board right there in the state of Illinois when they were trying to make decisions about the legalization and taxation of the entire plant. She was also the first doctor in the whole state to move people from opioids into CBDs. And I believe that after this presentation today, you'll understand the significance of that even more. Dr. Patricia Van Pelt, she's our chief financial officer, our interim chief financial officer, as well as the president of the company. She's a 
wonderful lady. She's not my mentor. My husband and I, she's the reason that we joined the company. But not only is she an entrepreneur and an author and an evangelist, but she's also a state senator serving her, currently now serving her third term. And we call her our mindset guru because she's always helping us with mindset. The third lady is our visionary, Ms. Melissa Boston. She is the CEO of the company. She's a social media strategist. She worked for Corporate America for 15 years, left there, retired at the age of 33 and a half years old, never turned back. And she has just built teams and, and had people that she's worked with in over 46 countries. And she is the visionary behind Wakana. She's the brainchild. And then last but definitely not least is Phyllis Nash. She's our chief sales officer. This lady here has only had two jobs in her lifetime, always been involved in direct selling, has put restaurants on the map, has been a real estate developer, and built a seven-figure income. But what's, that's not as important as the fact that she's taught others how to do it as well. So even though our company is not yet two years old, and that's powerful. We have already done over $4 million. I mean, can you just imagine, can you just think about where we're going because of where we are with this industry? And we're talking about something that's completely legal. We're talking about a farm bill that was passed, started in 2014, but was finalized in 2018, causing the hemp side of the cannabis plant to be legal. So you're going to hear some information about the plant a little bit, but you're also going to hear some other information that Karen is going to bring forth that's really going to, I believe, change your focus and change your lives as, as, as regarding what's really essential. The cannabis industry is booming. And I tell people, it's going so fast and growing so much, it's going to grow with you or without you. Because it's going from illegal to now essential. And the revenue that they're anticipating, because when you're talking about hemp and the plant and the things that come from hemp, over 50,000 uses of hemp, we're talking about an industry that's destined to be 20 billion with a B dollars by 2024. One of the beautiful things that I love about Wakana and what our co-founders have done together collectively is positioned us into a place where we can get a piece of industries that have already been existence and industries that have already been in the billions and trillions. So now we have products because when we started, we were just you know focusing on the CBD products and we still are focusing on the CBD products, but now we have CBD products in the weight loss industry and in the $33.4 trillion wellness industry, in the $20 billion essential oils industry, in the billion dollar hair care industry and in the skincare industry. See, that's, that's called positioning, to take advantage of industries that are already available. But you gotta understand exactly what we're talking about and what you're gonna hear some things about today, even regarding the essential oils as well as CBD, but we're not talking about getting high. So just come on, move that out of your brain if that's what you're thinking just because you hear the word cannabis. Understand that you will know more today than the average person walking the street. You might even know more than your doctors. You might even know more than that person who's selling a bottle of CBD oil or a bottle of essential oil when you leave this presentation today, because CBD by itself stands for cannabidiol. And it's just one of the many compounds that is found in the cannabis plant. But we're focusing on the hemp side of the plant, as well as the USDA essential oils. Everything is compliant. Everything is compliant as far as being with the State Department of Agriculture, which we are. And we're growing in accordance with the farm bill that was passed in 2018. But I want you to really understand just based on not what I say, because I'm not a medical doctor, and, but I am my doctorate's in theology. But I believe when I hear from a medical doctor, let's take a listen to Dr. Allen. Hello, my name is Dr. David Allen. I'm a retired cardiac surgeon and a member of the International Cannabinoid Research Society, ICRS. That means I'm a cannabinoid research scientist. And uh, I'm here to tell you about the discovery of the endocannabinoid system, the ECS, and uh, the significance and how it was, will change medicine. And uh, we discovered the 
endocannabinoid system about 30 years ago, and we really didn't understand the significance of its discovery. And so uh, we, we found out that this is a chemical communication that your body has. It's not electrical, it's chemical, and it's kind of like mm -hmm. uh, the hormone systems that, that people are familiar with. And your body makes these uh, cannabinoids, they're endogenous, so they're endocannabinoids, and they uh, perform some miraculous uh, functions in the body. And we're just learning the significance of these, of these functions. And basically, uh, the endocannabinoid system is responsible for homeostasis. Most people don't understand what that really means, but it, 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 it's, uh, it's the body's ability to maintain itself and function in the proper environment. And so it's, it's critically important that, uh, that doctors in the future understand this control mechanism. And we're finding out that, they, uh, that manipulation of this endocannabinoid system will control diabetes, it controls cancer, uh, it controls whether you can survive a heart attack or stroke. And so this is uh, uh, critically important for doctors to understand this new science. And uh, the discovery of the endocannabinoid system is the single most important medical scientific discovery uh, ever and will, will save more lives than the discovery and application of sterile surgical technique. And I'm a heart surgeon saying that. So more people will be saved by uh, manipulation of the endocannabinoid system than are currently saved by, by surgery. Now, what's so powerful about that is that's coming from the voice of a doctor. So that tells me, based on my, even my knowledge of what I've heard in my past and what I was taught about the plant, that I've got to learn and I've got to unlearn. There are some things I knew, and many of you may have heard some things in the past, but most of us only know about one side of the plant. We only know about the THC side that's psychoactive, that has you seeing things that may not be there, giving you that high. But you know, there are more people that want health than want high. And that's why the CBD side is so phenomenal and we've got to unlearn what we've learned and recognize that this is non-intoxicating, but yet it's gonna stimulate those receptors in our brain to help us to regulate pain and perception and anxiety and nausea, all the stuff we're dealing with right now. And we're talking about all of these cannabinoids, not just CBD, but CBC and G and N, even THC and THCV, oh my goodness. But CBD is the star of the game. I mean, look at all of the many, many things that CBD is responsible for. We were having discussions on yesterday with people that are THC smokers. Yes, they are marijuana smokers. And they basically want to know, well, I mean, why should I switch? Because the bottom line is, I'm saying it, everybody doesn't want to be high all of the time. And when you can find something that can help you get the same benefits that you're receiving from THC as far as the health benefits, reducing your pain and helping with nausea and vomiting and helping with muscle spasms and relaxing you. And then you can get those same things with other cannabinoids. Why not? Because it's working with our system. It's working with your system. All of us have an endocannabinoid system. We've all got these organs in our bodies that have these receptors that are craving, kind of like a Pac-Man, and you take CBD or G or D or N, and it's looking for that particular area of deficiency, endocannabinoid deficiency, right? It could be in our heart, our eyes, our lungs, our teeth. It could be in our stomach or our skins, our brain. It could be in our bowels, our liver, our kidneys, any of those places. And it just goes right there. And all of a sudden, the body begins to self-regulate and to self-heal itself. So we all today need to have a healthy endocannabinoid system. To do what? To help regulate stress. How much stress is taking place in our lives today? With the coronavirus, with all the stuff that's happening, we need something. We need a system that's working properly to help to regulate stress and memory and mood and inflammation. Oh, my God, and sleep and our appetite, right? And so we have to understand that over time, you know, we get older and just like a metabolism that slows down, aging makes a difference in a healthy 
endocannabinoid system. Your diet makes a difference. Oh my goodness, the lack of exercise, who doesn't know that, right? How about exposure to toxins? How do you get exposed to them? Sometimes just from walking outside. And then the exposure to stress. So all of these things are necessary for us to alleviate out of our lives for us to have a healthy endocannabinoid system. And how many of you on this call, whether you're a guest or whether you're a business partner, how many of you know somebody who has pain? Somebody who's an epileptic, somebody who's dealing with anxiety, somebody who's having difficulty sleeping, somebody who's a diabetic trying to manage their blood sugar, somebody who's dealing with Parkinson's or PTSD. All of us know people and CBD and all of the benefits you're going to hear about today, even regarding the essential oils, can be used to assist so many medical issues and disorders. And there are studies. I mean, if you're one of those persons, you want to do the studies. There are over 20,000 peer reviews. There are thousands and thousands of studies that have already been done showing how what we're talking about today will positively impact one's life. Now, our products are not to be used or sold to persons under the age of 18. Our vaping and our smokable products, not to those under the age of 21. And we advise anytime that you're using any supplemental products that you should get your physician on board so they can begin to monitor your numbers because what we're hoping for is those numbers get better, right? And when those numbers get better, hopefully you don't need as much of the pharmaceutical drugs and you're gonna hear some powerful information about that. But we never ever intend to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. We have a fabulous product line, oh my God. Our product line goes from things to help in the bedroom to coffee to drink to uh, creams to help with pain from, to products to help with your seasoning to tinctures to put under your tongue. And I mean, the list goes on and on and we're constantly increasing even shampoos. I mean, tinctures under the tongue, edibles to use. We have topicals to use for pain, lotions for your eczema and all these things smokable products that are helping with anxiety and, and, and depression and just to give you that calm. And then we have essential oils. And that's where I'm going to stop. And I'm going to release my stand. And I'm going to bring on a young lady who I am so glad to be a partner with. Ms. Karen Williams is a former top computer industry executive. She's a career consultant to Fortune 50 companies and a servant leader board member. Karen's passion is connecting with people and helping them transform their lives through the use of essential oils and other natural healing modalities. She is a certified herbalist. So that's why I told you, get ready, get your notebook out. She's an essential oil educator and enthusiast for the last 17 years. So guys, she didn't just wake up talking about essential oils. And she's an aroma freedom practitioner. Now she's also a certified CBD entrepreneur. And her focus is wellness, purpose, and abundance for herself and others. And she happens to live in the beautiful Reno, Tahoe, Nevada area. So let's welcome to the stage, everybody. Let me stop my screen here and hand it over to Miss Karen Williams. Come on, everybody, let's welcome her to the stage. You're muted, Karen. Thank you, Dr. Ross. Can you hear me now? Yes. Oh, great. Well, that was some intro. So I'm gonna have to have you hang around a little bit more in some of my other presentations, because that was great, thank you. And I'm very honored to share the platform with you. And I'm grateful to see everyone here today. So thank you for coming, spending some of your Sunday with us. And as Dr. Roz says, we have this extensive product line that seems to be growing daily lately with all our new products. And so I, I did want to highlight that. So can you see my screen already? Can you see my screen all right? Yes. Oh, great. I just wanted to double check. So um, we're going to be focusing on essential oils, as Dr. Roz mentioned. I'm only going to highlight a few of our products because, once again, our product line is growing. 
These are six of our essential oils we have today to sell um, and that are available. Uh, we will talk about other products as well. I'm only going to cover two in this particular line this afternoon and I will be covering two of our other products as well. So I wanted to begin our presentation with the basics and talk about what are essential oils. And you, know, you can read this slide, it tells you more about their high concentrated aromatics, but they're also a part of our CBD products. So that makes them organic, free of mold, mildew, and pesticides. And we do monitor closely um, with our certificate of analysis, COAs, for those of you who know the jargon, um, to make sure that the time the seed is planted in the ground to the time it's bottled and to the time that it's sent to the Chicago headquarters and shipped to you as a customer, that there's been no tampering occurring and no harmful ingredients added. So it's important to know where your products come from especially as you apply them and use them within your, with your body. So keep that in mind that the source is very critical for your health as well. So um, there's different ways that we can use essential oils. Um, most popular ways are topical, um, as you see in some of the pictures listed here. Obviously, the smell, the aroma, taking it in through our nose, through our olfactory glands. And I'll get a little scientific, not a lot, because we, we want to keep everybody engaged. Um, there's also uh, ways you can internally take essential oils that are capsules. Um, we will we'll talk about that probably in the next few presentations, but I wanted to mention that that was one of the other ways you can take an oil internally. Um, and you can aromatically take in oils through a diffuser, uh, which is listed, and we'll talk a little bit more about what is a diffuser, why use a diffuser. Uh, you can also use essential oils as another internal way is you can put essential oils in a tea. You can make a tea by themselves, or you can mix them with tea to also get the benefit of not, not only the aromatic, but internally taking some essential oils, not all. And um, one of the other uses I like to mention for the DIY crowd, the do-it-yourselfers, you can create cleaning products using essential oils and get rid of the toxic cleaners and use something more natural in your homes to help keep your homes clean using essential oils. So those are some of the most popular ways and categories of how essential oils are used today. Here's where the science kind of comes in with the olfactory system. So I'm gonna break it down and make it really simple, okay? You take a bottle of oil and you basically, you inhale that oil. And when you're inhaling that oil, it's going through an olfactory gland. And that gland, as you see, travels through your nose like under and behind your eye, and it intent, that also triggers your olfactory bulb. And by taking in the smell or the aroma of the oil, it sends a signal to your brain. And that signal goes to your limbic system of the brain. And it basically lets you know that your emotions, your heart rate, your blood pressure, your hormone balance, the stress that Dr. Ross mentioned, and a host of other bodily functions can be impacted just by the simple action of smelling the scent of an essential oil. So we're gonna go into that a little bit more, but I just wanted to kind of give you a little bit of the science of why um, essential oils are powerful and are beneficial in our health. So, some essential oil, uh, if you will, things that I like to bring up right away <laughs> in terms of safety, because essential oils are powerful, powerful tools. And there's some do's and don'ts that I like to kind of state up front. So you know what you're kind of getting yourself into. If you're not clear or don't know 
about an essential oil, feel free to ask the question. Feel free to find a certified aromatherapist. You can Google anybody online. You can contact me. As you all probably know, Dr. Joy is a certified aromatherapist, and we can help you out from the standpoint of keeping you out of danger. So please do not apply essential oils to any open wounds. That is a sensitive area, and until that wound has started scabbing over or healing, you don't want to put anything in an open wound, you know, other than some type of water or antibiotic or something that is actually helping that wound to close. So the only time I would say that you can apply an essential oil, um, if you have a burn in the kitchen, if you pick up something too hot or from the oven or what have you, you can put lavender essential oil on a burn. But that's only if you've not opened and passed your skin barrier. So, um, but lavender will help take the burn out of an essential. Well, the lavender will help take the burn out of your finger um, in terms of keeping up with that. So that's the only time I would say you should use an essential oil is if you have a burn, um, but not an open burn. So no open wounds. Keep away from the eyes and wash your hands after use. Sometimes after you use an essential oil, especially peppermint, <laughs> we might have a tendency to rub our eyes just involuntarily. And that's the last place you want an essential oil on your body is your eyes. So what you need to do if that ever does happen is not to, don't put water in your eyes. Oil and water do not mix. You want to have a carrier oil like coconut, jojoba, even olive oil to to use, to put, actually you can put that in your eye to help take the sting of the essential oil out if you happen to rub your eyes, but don't rub your eyes. <laughs> and so, um, and the reason we say wash your hands after use is because that oil is on your hands. So if you take a soap product and water and wash your hands thoroughly, that will reduce the essential oil on your fingertips. Um, we do advise using a patch test in a small area if you've never used the essential oil before. Everyone's chemistry, body chemistry is unique and you may or may not have an allergy to an essential oil. And so instead of having an allergic reaction over a large part of your body, just take, you know, like your inside of your arm or, you know, a small space some place on your body that you would be comfortable just testing, does that oil irritate my skin? And we recommend you dilute it. And what dilution is, is by taking a carrier oil, such as olive, jojoba, coconut, there's a host of oils, that you rub that oil in the space and then the essential oil on top of that and give it 15, 20, 30 minutes to see if your skin has any reaction to it or not. Now, most of us will be okay. I apply essential oils directly, um, and that just has to do with my immune system being strong and a lot of other things. But you never know which oil you may be sensitive to, so be very cautious and not overdo it when you first begin using them. Um, always read any warning signs especially if you're pregnant, um, nursing or having any serious conditions um, or using medications. Um, I think we've heard, you know, most people can't take grapefruit like as a, a, a food product with a lot of medications. And so if you're having breakfast and you're taking a medication in the morning, it's not advised to use grapefruit with some medications because they're counter entertaining. Um, if you're pregnant, you should always touch base with your doctor first about using any products, let alone essential oils. There are groups of people these days now that have what are called oily babies, where the mother has used a regimen of essential oils to help her in her pregnancy and keeping her mood centered, you know, helping with stretch marks, helping with a lot of different things that happen 
as we carry babies and you want to use it sparingly, but with your doctor knowing what you are using at all times during the pregnancy. Um, another note is spacing out your use of essential oils in connection with any medications that you're taking. So like your prescriptions, there's time frames of when you should take different meds with essential oils in, and medication together. First and foremost, alert your doctor and make sure it's okay. Second and foremost, you wanna kind of space it out in between the time you take your, medical, your meds versus when you're not taking something. So um, just to give your body that boost of energy and different things over time. Um, also, you can diffuse your essential oils for about 30 minutes at a time. You don't need to run a diffuser all day. Um, the particles do stay in the air for a duration, and 30 minutes is a really pretty good time to run your diffuser with most essential oils. They all have different uh, concentrations, depending on the oil and how long they stay in the air. And as Dr. Rita says, pretty much in most of her presentations, more is not better. So there are certain numbers of drops you need to use to get the benefit of using an essential oil. And we'll talk about that as we go through the presentation. Now, on to some of the good stuff. We're gonna talk about Wakana's products first. We're gonna highlight a couple of those and one I'd like to highlight is the essential defense. Uh, essential defense is a great combination of products, um, especially including our CBD products and um, the essential oils that are highlighted are cinnamon, clove, rosemary, lemon, and eucalyptus. And so that's a really powerful blend of essential oils. And these are the reason I wanted to highlight this product is because of the times we're living in, right? Essential defense is a great name for a product because we need a line of defense between all the airborne germs and bacteria that we now have come to learn exist in our environments. So given this current pandemic, you know, it's really important to buffer ourselves, to protect ourselves so as we wear our mask, you can spray your mask with essential defense. I've heard various testimonials, and I use it as well, that it helps your own breathing as you wear these masks for long periods of time. And you will be taking in, if you will, with the essential defense, a barrier to any, if you will, polluted air around you. Um, it's important to know that these particular oils will support your wellness during seasonal changes. I mean, we are in the winter in North America and most of us have been impacted one way or another by the seasonal change or whether it's the cold or the snow or the ice. And it's important to buffer our systems by building our immunities and essential defense assist in that process, but it also can help us disinfect, if you will, um, surfaces, like when I was talking about our mask, or an NL air purifier, you can put in diffuser and can purify your air that way as well. So one of the other uses is the topical, taking one or two drops um, in a teaspoon of carrier oil and applying it to the bottom of your feet. Our feet have the largest pores in our body and it will go, the oil, the oil combination will go to where you need it the most in your body. So putting it on the bottom of your feet, you know, back in the day, some of us still do this, put it, your socks on after you apply it, go to sleep. <laughs> and your body will take over from there. The oils will go where they need to go and help build your immunity and help protect you um, because we are exposed to each other not just from the standpoint of the cold weather and just the differences in people and germs, but you know, with this COVID scenario, and please do not take this wrong, but I'm not saying that essential oils cure COVID. So 
I will never say I said that, um, is that I'm in saying though, to create a supportive immune system, these essential oils help build that immune process. Um, another usage for the essential defense is aromatically, as I mentioned. You can drop two or three drops in a diffuser and up to 30 minutes and not only enjoy the scent, but know that you're purifying the air. Now, I know we had a question about this in the past about the how many drops to use, and that will depend on the size of your room um, and depending on how your home is set up. So I pretty much have an open um, home setup. And so I do drop a few more drops in my diffuser because it does have a large water base. And I'll talk to you about what a diffuser is and why to use that versus a humidifier. But I will say that diffusing in the air is really powerful. It not only helps keep your air clean and clear, it allows you to take in these very minute vaporized particles of the essential oils very easily and effortlessly. You can also, if you don't have a diffuser or you're not at home, you can drop a couple of drops of essential oils in the palm of your hands. And I think I saw Cherie doing this, rubbing her hands together, yes. <laughs> and you can cop it, you can put your fingers together or you can make a teepee over your nose and inhale deeply a few times, three, four times. So not only do you basically simulate the diffuser, it is a more direct response to your olfactory nerve. And this settles us down, it allows us to have focus, it relaxes us, it does a lot of different things to benefit us, but more importantly, it gets the essential defense or whatever oil you're rubbing to have more direct contact in your inhalation. So that's a very powerful practice. You can do this several times throughout the day and night just to help work with whatever you're working with at the time, whether it's your mood or what have you. So, and another way to use the essential defense is internally. And I'm not going into that as much because not all products should be internally taken. Um, but when you can, you can put it in a capsule, you can place it a drop in your tea. Um, some people have used it a drop on their toothbrush before they brush their teeth. Um, a lot of people don't like the taste of certain oils, so they put it in a veggie capsule. And however you choose to internally take an essential oil combination, just know you're supporting your system again, your immune system, and you're basically, you know, attacking, if you will, the germs in your system in a safe way. So the essential defense covers a lot of ground. And I do strongly suggest you look into utilizing the essential defense product. <coughs> Excuse me. Our next product is First Defense. And when this product came out last year, I was like, oh, a nasal product. <laughs> And I don't have allergies, and I do have a thing about putting things in my nose. So I was like, ooh. So I have a cheat way around this, and I'll talk about how I use it. But first, I'd like to talk about some of the ingredients in the First Defense nasal spray. So for those of you who do have allergies or sinus challenges, this is a great product with CBD to help keep you breathing clearly and help you with all types of challenges. I mean, there's so many oils in this product alone. Um, I have to actually look at my cheat sheet to see, but I'm seeing that we've got, in this product, we have the full spectrum CBD, we have hemp seed oil, rosemary, cinnamon, basil, lemongrass, lemon, peppermint, eucalyptus, lavender, and clove. So that is a powerhouse of an oil, just with those combinations of oils, number one, and your CBD. So the primary use of First Defense is decreasing any inflammation in nasal passages. 
And I know I can raise my hand as others can say, this does the trick, okay? <laughs> and so I, I can say that while I wasn't clear or cool on the design of our product initially, um, what I have done to bypass the nose thing is I actually use Q-tips. So I'm kind of a little bit of a wuss about that. So I'll say a little bit of a baby, but I use the Q-tips every day um, to clear my nasal passages. Um, just, and when I don't do that, I have noticed I have more nasal congestion. So um, it does work and it works very powerfully. So um, I do highly recommend First Defense as a nasal passage um, cleaner. So one of the things you can do to how to use the products is to remove the safety clasp that comes with the product itself. And, and it's under the applicator. And then you remove the cap. Okay, and then you're gonna tilt your head back and you're going to actually take the actual bottle and there is a squeeze to the applicator and you can squeeze it gently or you can squeeze it fast. It depends on how you like to take your medicine, uh, if you will. And um, this, and that's in one nasal passage. You'll need to do the same thing in, a, in the other nasal passage as well. And, um, but in between use, you wanna sanitize the, with alcohol. And if you feel like you need to blow your nose, try not to do it for five minutes because you really wanna inhale the combination of oils so they can actually start benefiting clearing those nasal passages. So this is a really powerful product. And once again, more is not better. So a little goes a long way. And uh, last time I checked, we were sold out of this. So I haven't checked again today, but this typically can go quickly. So you, and I know we have smaller bottles of it um, as well, because I use a purse size of the essential defense um, and then the regular size, which is the, uh, let's see, a thousand milligrams. So that I use as well. So you want to keep those on hand, especially for the next few months because we're still in winter. Um, but it's great to have you around because as I mentioned, for those of you with allergies, this is a great product to keep your nasal passages clear. Dr. Roz went over this disclaimer already, so I won't read it again, but when we talk about essential oils and CBD, we like to be on record about what we're sharing with you and keeping everybody above the line of health. And that in that, that we talk about how we use CBD and how the essential oils work. So I'm just gonna breeze through that and go towards the, uh, are two essential oils being highlighted tonight. And one is eucalyptus. And part of the reason we chose eucalyptus radiata is because it's a part of the blend in uh, both the products in the first defense and the uh, essential defense. Um, so the is eucalyptus, most of us know what the smell of eucalyptus is like if we've smelled uh, Oh, now I'm forgetting the name, but somebody will remind me when we come to the Q&A. But eucalyptus is, is a really popular scent and a popular product that helps with uh, bronchitis or flu, uh, can assist with colds and headaches. It's a product that can be mixed with a lot of other products that help open up, once again, our nasal passages to, to assist our breathing, if you will. So, um, the product that I'm thinking of, we rub on our chest, um, has eucalyptus in it that I had a lot growing up as a kid. Um, so you can apply that eucalyptus on your chest with a carrier oil if you're sensitive. And um, our eucalyptus is our organic MCT connected mixed with it or, you, or with the organic almond oil. So there's different carrier choice oils that are used sometimes with the eucalyptus. Uh, once again, you can use it aromatically 
and place one to two drops in the palm of your hand. And uh, this will allow you to open your nasal passages and take in the benefit of just quick relief, if you will. Um, if you don't have your essential defense with you or your first defense. Um, so eucalypt is a very powerful oil and one that we don't necessarily recommend for oral consumption at this time, but that is really for helping you with relieving that pressure and pain in your head, if you will. So uh, that's the little bit about eucalyptus we wanted to go into. And the final oil that I wanted to highlight was peppermint. And peppermint is really popular just all the way around for different household usage as well as personal use. And our peppermint oil is 100% and it helps relieve sinus and respiratory infections. It can reduce inflammation of the mouth and throat. Um, it also has the knowledge of knowing it can repel mosquitoes. It can ease joint discomfort. Yeah, peppermint helps with discomfort from the standpoint of nausea. Um, peppermint is a really powerful oil. Um, aromatically, you can do the one, two drop in the palm of your hands and, and do the TP smell that we were talking about before. Um, also, you can diffuse it in a cold air diffuser. And one of the things I wanted to mention about diffuser, because I brought diffusing, as I brought one with me here, is that for those of you, there's different types of diffusers. They come in different shapes and sizes. Um, you want to use an official essential oil cold water diffuser. This actually comes off for this diffuser and because it's more decorative than anything. And you're really, you're pouring water typically into the base of a diffuser. And there's a top that comes with it. And that top, which is probably hard to see, it's why it's called a diffuser. It basically blends the water and the oil into a vapor and shoots that vapor into the air um, while you're diffusing. Um, people, once upon a time, and people may still do this, but it's not advised to use essential oils in a humidifier. I know that there's water in it and the water is spraying into the air, but a humidifier will not blend the oil and water to diffuse into vapors that you can inhale and send to room. A humidifier, unfortunately, it may actually stop working over time if you put essential oils in it. So it's not advised to use a humidifier because it's not designed to take the combination of oil and water and use them together. So I'd like to tell people that because humidifiers cost money and you don't want it to stop working. I mean, you want that moisture in the air, you do, but you need a diffuser to do it properly with essential oils. So. The products that I've named so far, you can all use in an essential oil diffuser. Um, so I like to mention that and highlight it a little bit. And orally, the peppermint oil can be used. Um, we say you can take a small drop of this peppermint oil and put it on a spoon and take it in your mouth very slowly. Um, from the standpoint of swishing it around for a few minutes, and um, getting the benefit of the oil directly. We're not necessarily saying you should swallow because it will be very strong, but it can help in terms of uh, being like a mouthwash, if you will, peppermint's great for that. In fact, most toothpaste products, most mouthwash products have peppermint essential oil in it to give you that minty fresh breath. Um, but don't, it, don't overuse peppermint, one drop is really quite powerful, especially in a cup of tea. Um, you even need, I would say, take a toothpick and put it in your oil bottle and then swish it around in a cup of tea because peppermint is very concentrated. And um, so depending on how much you like it is how much you want to use, but you don't need a lot to get a lot of benefit out of a little. So um, the peppermint essential oil, I know Minister Mooney mentioned last week, that he uses a spritz of peppermint essential oil when he comes out of the shower. That's, the, that's his cologne of choice. Um, 
It's also a great way to promote our products, if you will. So keep that in mind that um, men like natural products and they will be using, well, they like peppermint oil because it's invigorating. Peppermint will also give you great focus when you're working or studying. Peppermint is a great insecticide. It helps keep mosquitoes and other bugs away, whether that's your house and spraying corners of rooms or whether you want to wear that before you go out on a hike or something. Um, peppermint, you can cook with peppermint. Um, there's just so many uses for pe peppermint. I could have one whole session on peppermint alone. So, but, but I wanted to give you some highlights of what peppermint has. Um, and I think at this point, I was coming towards the end of my talk because I know there's usually a lot of questions. So um, I wanted to put my contact information on the screen. Uh, I have an Instagram account. Um, it's at Karen's Wakana World. Um, I have uh, a website because as Dr. Ross says, I'm a certified proud wannapreneur. So that's KarenWilliams.WakanaForLife.com. And um, my Gmail email address is KarenWakana at gmail.com. So you can feel free to reach me at any of these places with questions, comments, or anything. I, I love talking about essential oils. I've um, been doing classes and sessions for years, as Dr. Roz says. I'm, I'm more of a natural girl when it comes to things. I don't believe in taking um, chemicals if I can help it, because I know that they do more harm than good. Um, I do believe that we've been blessed with the bounty of nature and God's good blessings and essential oils or things that have been around for ancients for years. I didn't go through the whole history of essential oils. So they have outlasted us, if you will, and will, because they are a part of our, you know, living on this great planet Earth. So with that, I will turn the presentation back to Dr. Ross so we can take in questions. And please feel free to unmute or put in the chat your questions. And at this point, Dr. Roz, I don't know if we have any to start with, but I'm pretty sure we probably do. So would you like me to stop sharing the screen or just leave this up for now? And I guess we can stop sharing. And because uh, we do have, I know we have a lot of comments that were related to some of the things that you were talking about and, okay. people, and some people were sharing how they're using some of the essential oils as well uh, okay. that we, we might be able to add to what we're talking about. All righty. So let's see here. And of course, it definitely put any questions that you might have into the chat or either unmute yourself. You're welcome to unmute yourself if you have a question that you'd like to ask. I have a question. Yeah, go right ahead. So... Well, with the um, Who's speaking? essential dip, Veronica. All right. Okay. Go ahead. Um, with the essential defense. So, like I use uh, for for sinuses and stuff, the neti pot and the bottle that you do the saline solution cleanse. Would it be safe or cool to put that in that as well when you're doing the saline cleanse? Well, I mean. I've not done it with the neti pot, but I mean, basically the science is the same. It's just going to depend on how many drops you're going to use because you don't mm -hmm. want to overpower, you know, because a lot of times if you do a strong spray or spritz, um, it can go to the back of your throat and that isn't where you want the, the actual uh, essential defense to land. So as long as you're using only a couple of drops through your process, I think you'll be all right because you're just adding to the solution you're already using, if I'm understanding right. you correctly. Because so. it just goes, when you're using it, it's just going in one nostril, pretty much cleansing and coming out the other side. Yeah. Uh, other nostril. Mm -hmm. And that's fine, yeah, because you, the essential defense will be creating a bacterial uh, bond for, and it'll, I should say buffer. So you should be fine with that. 
Thank you. Yeah. Have you tried it yet, or are you thinking of trying it? No, I'm a Wakanapreneur, so I'm, I'm one of those people. I put it in my hands, and I put it in my diffuser. But as you were talking, I was thinking about uh, how would it respond as I put it in my, um, uh, my neti pot or my saline solution when I do the nose cleanse. Yeah. Yeah, it will. It should work fine. You shouldn't have any problem with that. Okay. Thank you for the question. I have a question. All right, Linda. Let's let's hear it. And I'm a I'm a guest with for share with Sherry Eppinger. She invited oh. me to the meeting today, and I want to know. I wanted to just say it's a very good presentation. And I wanted to know the difference, you know, um, the CBD versus the TAC factor of it. Um, if you do CBD, is there components of TAC in it or how is that broken down? Well, I'll start and Dr. Raj, you can chime in. <laughs> thanks for being here, Linda. And thanks, Sherry, for inviting her. Thank um, you. And what I'll say, Linda, is that it depends on the product you use in our, in our product line. Um, we have two lines. We have a pure line and a, how do I say the, a power line, the power line and the pure line. And the power line has CBD with THC. It's 0.3 or less THC in the power line. And that's the black label products. And the pure line has CBD only um, with, I'll say, less than 0, 0.00 THC. So, um, so depending on which product you're going to use is going to expose you to THC or not THC. Do you have a preference of product right now? Um, I, my preference would be the pure line without okay. the THC. Okay. And so that product line allows you to have, uh, uh, what I was going to say, it's going to allow you to have your, uh, the test at your, if you're working, there's random drug tests. And so the pure line will not test any THC, will not come up with any THC in your system. So um, now for the essential defense, and the uh, first defense, you're, you're, you're trying not to break the blood brain barrier. So this is where I have to ask you, Dr. Roz, because I don't think of them as the pure line of product line. No, the essential defense doesn't have any CBD in it. Okay. The essential defense is only essential oils the only. Essential oils. Uh, the first defense does have CBD in it. But let me ask the question, uh, your, this was Linda, right? Yes. Okay. That's correct. So Linda, let me ask a question. And you said you would prefer non having THC. So my question is, are you currently having random drug screens? No, I, I'm getting ready to apply for a position and they, they will possibly do a drug test. Okay. Okay. Because I just wanted to make sure that you were very clear on the fact that even though it has 0.3% or less of THC, there still was no high. So I just wanted to make sure that that was, that you were aware of that. Because every product that we talk about in this space has no high. I don't care if it has the 0.3 or less, because that's just a trace amount. But what we, what we make very, very clear, if indeed there is the possibility at some point with with you changing, moving on in your career, that you're going to be a part of something that has a random drug screen, then definitely you would want to start with. And if later on you want to go into our power, but the pure has less than 0.0%. So then you don't have any, any concerns or any worries about it. Very good. Thank you. But yeah, back to, back to what we were saying, the essential defense, and that's why it was good that she highlighted that product today, because the essential defense has all of those different essential oils that Karen went over. Essential defense has no CBD. So a lot of us run into people who still can't get the stigma out of their head. So, hey, that's why the beauty, the, the fantastic thing that our co-founders did was to have a whole essential defense or an essential oil division, because until they come on board, 
which they will eventually come on board <laughs> because everybody's going to be using CBD. Come on, y'all. But when they, when they, if they're, if you got those struggling folks on the fence, hey, we got all these essential oils, and and that's why we wanted to do this to really highlight what we have and go into detail because we can't we can't talk about all of them in one setting. So that's why we're going to do this series because there are going to be some other questions that come up. Um, I don't know if there were some other questions. I knew that. Karen, if you can look in the chat and see, some people were saying they use it in their saline. Some were saying they use it in their um, mouthwash. Yes. I'm, I gotta try that one. Putting yeah, I, I see that Mom Mitchell mentioned that. She is, uses a drop of peppermint um, in a drop of her essential defense. And she says it's better than Dr. Tishner's. So <laughs> thank you, Mom Mitchell. I didn't, I didn't recognize that, but I can see how that would be. Um, Yvette mentioned she had a testimony. Is she still on the line? Yvette, are you still in the presentation? Yes, I am. Um, oh. We're going over the oils right now, so I'll do the testimony about the pills later. But anyway, the peppermint spray, I found it amazing. Cannot even remember what call it was on when they said we could spray it in the mask. And you spray it, I spray it in the mask. The first time I sprayed it and put it right on, it was too strong. I wasn't thinking. So you spray it and then I put it in a, like a baggie and then keep them ready for when I need them later. It really helps with the breathing. Yeah, it's, it's that strong. That yes, and the essential that. defense, I'm like you, I use a Q-tip the first time I didn't and it was a little strong because I squirted it too much, but um, I use a Q-tip and now I'm able to squirt just a little in and then I take the saline and water it down a little bit and it's perfect. And like you said, leaving in about five minutes, it's amazing. It has helped my sinuses this time of the year. Oh, great. Yeah, my, my husband uses the nasal spray. Uh, he has periodically uh, sinus headaches and he would get a sinus headache. And that's when we first got our chance to test out find out, okay, which one of our products are we going to try for this? Because <laughs> that's what it comes down to. And that's that's when you know we have really good quality products. So he would squirt one, squirt two, and he said, woo! <laughs> <laughs> it does work, though. Once you get used to that first time, it's like, hey, I can handle this. Yeah, and so now he it's kind of like a, a daily thing for him before he leaves out the house. And he still uses the squirt. Um, I'm, I'm, I joined Karen's bandwagon with the Q-tip and said, okay, <laughs> I remember back in the day when my mom used to put the Vicks Ave all around your nose and <laughs> folks could smell you before you get there. <laughs> <laughs> so, absolutely. And that's what I couldn't think of was the Vicks and the eucalyptus. That's what I was trying oh, to remember okay. earlier. So thank okay, you, okay. Dr. Ross. And all right. Thank you, Yvette, for your testimony. That's great to know and I'm glad to hear people are using essential oils in combination no with the products. That's really important. And the product works, it really does. I had some people that have sinus infections every year and I have them on the essential defense now and they love it. The little pot, a little small sample size is amazing just to carry in your purse. Yep, it's important to have it. I mean, I just love having it with me all the time knowing that I'm taking care of myself and you know, if I ever find I'm around someone coughing and sneezing all the time, I'm a little paranoid now, but I use it all the time. So, uh, but I see that Liz had a question. Is there an essential oil that will help with burning feet? Um, Liz, have, is it, have, do you have a diagnosis in terms of, is it no, 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 how am I trying to say this? No, Neuropathy. Neuropathy. Thank you. Neuropathy. Um, is that um, yes, I am on. Uh, my doctor did say he believes it's neuropathy, and I'm on like 800 milligrams of gabapentin three times a day. And I had weaned myself down to like one and a half pills, but it, it had gotten so bad. He's like, go back up, go back up. But I didn't want to go back up. But I, I had to because it, it's, it's just burning so bad, and it's still burning. So I, I just need to find something that will, it, it burns, it stings, it feels like nice, I'm being cut, I can barely walk. Wow. It's, it's, it's 
but I have a lot of other underlying medical issues as well, but he believes it's from neuropathy. So I do go see a um, neurologist on in March, on March 8th. I'm hoping, I, I, I prolonged it for so long because I didn't want another pill. Mm-hmm. And so I I have tried different oils and it just have hasn't calmed it down. I I've, I've been taking I went to like a health food store and they told me like alpha-lipoic acid and it helps with the burning and I have a neuropathy oil and I I'm, I'm using that but it'll work and it'll stop and it'll work and it'll stop and I just have I need some relief. Mm-hmm. I have no no relief whatsoever. And I, we've tried eucalyptus oil for numerous of things. You know, um, my sister even tried, well, eucalyptus, they say it, it uh, kills viruses and flus. And then one of my sisters, she used peppermint oil for like hot flashes. We know it works for that. But it's, I've mixed, tried to mix my own oils and I'm just not getting any relief. Well, what, what I'll say based on what you've said is that I would need to take this offline because I would have to suggest other oils that I did not mention. And so um, I, you can actually email me at karenwakana at gmail.com. Um, and I can find out you know, what other oils you've used. Um, but in terms of, yes, Stacy, you're probably right. Somebody mentioned uh, Dr. Rita's rub. Have, have you tried that? And I just put a link in there. If you look in the chat box, I just put a link in because Dr. Rita did a fantastic teaching on neuropathy. Okay, so it's going to need some more things that, that some other products that we have on the CBD line yeah. to deal with that inflammation that you're dealing with. My godmother has neuropathy. She's a diabetic, uh, but she deals with neuropathy and she uses the pain cream at night on her feet. She uses the tincture, oil, uh, under her tongue, and then she uses the gummies for sleeping because that neuropathy will wake you up in the middle of the night. And so, let me see and keep that. you up. <laughs> yes, it, it's a, it's the struggle, I tell you. Yeah, and I so, like I said, I've tried a lot, but I'm going to look at this that you sent, and I have your number, Dr. Ross. You you were actually on our. Um, our sisters meeting. Oh, uh, yes. Yes. Meeting. Yeah. yes. Okay, so, fantastic. I appreciate that. Oh, absolutely. Thank you. Thank, Thank you both. So you're my guest. Okay. Thank you. I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, check out that video. That's going to give you a lot of education regarding, because she always teaches not only about the issue and how it's happening in your body, why it's happening in your body. And then she goes over some products that would be helpful to assist in giving you better results regarding it. Absolutely. Thank you so much. And then after you look at that, let's just, let's touch bases. uh, Cause, and then we can go further and give, give you some more information as well as what Karen is going to give you as well. Most definitely. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Ross for that assist. My brain. (laughs) <laughs> um, let's see I'm, I see so many different people using it for uh, let's see somebody else uses the extreme power for, that's Erica uses the extreme for neuropathy um, hey Erica uh, unmute and share share how you're using it for it hey sure I'm hoping my phone doesn't die Dr. Ross okay yeah. Really quickly, I use the extreme. Um, I have neuropathy secondary to MS. Um, and so the, uh, the burning and tingling and all of that crap, does, it just doesn't feel good for sure. Uh, very, it can impact my walking, but I use that. And what I've started doing too is rubbing, I think I did a testimony about this, about running, rubbing the, um, mixing it with the um, mango body cream. And that has worked well for me as well. So I was saying, don't be afraid to mix products. Um, so that's helped, but I really do, like you were saying, Dr. Roz, I, but I use the severe, the MD, the, the Hempranium MD, I'm sorry, I'm rushing because I'm, my phone is going to disconnect, but the Hempranium MD, so I don't think it's just about using the topicals, I think it works, but I think it's also assisted by also using, um, it's, a, it's a chronic condition, usually the neuropathy, so I always think about that as um, something else that needs to be 
um, assisted by the hemphrania moles. Thank you. Thank you. And so the point that she's making is that Dr. Rita always makes sure we understand that all of these conditions base are coming from inflammation. Okay. And even though we can take a pain cream and deal with the outside, you got to take something on the inside to get the, the core of the problem of what's being inflamed to make you feel it on the outside. So that's why, as you watch the video, you'll see her talking about it because she's going to, like Dr. Joy talks about, the trifecta. You know, it's good to have the oil, the gummy, and the pain cream just to work the whole body and get you feeling much better. And watching what you're eating too, because I've noticed that, um, you know, if I'm eating more sweets than normal, they will <laughs> kick my neuropathy up because sugar is inflammatory. Yeah. So, you know, so I want to put that in there. Awesome. Thank you. Erica, what was the product that you um, said that you used with the mango? What was the name of the product? She, she said Hemp MD. The Hemp MD. Okay. Extreme, um, extreme body cream. I mean the extreme pain cream. Okay. Thank you. Just so would that have, um, I'm sorry, <sighs> don't end. I'm really just sister. Would that have Annika in it or do either of you ladies know? Which product? Or how that... The 500 has the Onica. No, okay. not Onica. It, it has turmeric in it, the, the 500. Okay. Yeah. Onica is another thing, but I don't know if our product has it in there yet. It, 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 I'm working on that with them. <laughs> okay, because I know for Liz, I'm her sister as well um, on the call, so thank you guys for having us. Because um, I found a cream that has Arnica, MSM, and um, I want to say glucosamine in it. Um, for her to try for that to give her some relief. And I was just curious and if you guys use that in your products at all. No, the one that we're making reference to is our proprietary formula. And it has turmeric, black seed, coconut oil, peppermint, and hemp seed oil. And we the carrier oil is the coconut oil to get it into the bloodstream. That's the one that has to be taken under the tongue. <coughs> it's what we call a tincture. So it can get into the glands directly. You hold it there for about 60 seconds and then swallow. And the testimonies, I mean, if we, if we can't even open up a line right now about the testimonies we hear regarding that hempranium, but it's our own formula. So it doesn't have those things that you just said, but it does have turmeric and black seed. And turmeric is an inflammatory, helps reduce infl yes. inflammation by itself. Okay? Yes. And then black seed oil, um, and I got to point the right way. Uh, mm -hmm. Karen is going to do a teaching on that. That's probably going to be just a one teaching on just that oil by itself because it's just crazy. So we're not going to get into that. Okay. Karen, what are we? What are you doing next week? Yeah, black seed oil is up for next week. All right, uh, for sure. Yeah, because I I was trying to break it down and I'm like, well, there's so much to say about black seed oil, and you know, depending on time, you know, I may give tea tree oil you know, another handshake at that point. But we'll see. Black seed oil is all its own talk and we now have lemon and frankincense. So I'll see which would be complimentary to the black seed. But all right. black seed is all its own. <laughs> it's really, you know, in terms of that product. But so we're going to do this as a series, guys. And so definitely get your customers on, potential customers, so that they can learn about this area of our product line uh, that we can get people informed. It's about educating people. We want them to be educated about not only our CBD products, but the essential oil division, because we just got to get our health right. And that's, that's our vision and that's our focus. And that's why uh, Dr. Rita and all of our medical advisory board have been so instrumental in always coming up with formulations that are helpful to our body. I mean, we've got I mean, I, I'm excited because I've been here since day one that the company launched when we had what we had, <laughs> okay? And now we got so many products, it's like, God, no! Well, we got a bunch of products now, and they're all so good, you know? I just tried the uh, Delta 8 last night, and it, it has the right name, Light. <laughs> So, <laughs> right. any other questions? Did we miss it? We don't miss any questions. Well, we I'm not seeing necessarily questions, but other solutions. So, if Liz wants to check out the chat, there's other uh, combinations of products people are using for their neuropathy. Um, 
as well. So you can check there. Uh, Diana Coleman, looks like you should tell us a testimonial before we leave, if you would unmute if you're available. I am. Great. Thanks for asking me. Um, and I, I put in the chat that using the first defense really cemented my reason for wanting to get into Wakana. I received a call from a dear friend, my girlfriend, and who, uh, and it, who got me into the entrepreneur as a uh, Wakana for life. So um, she said, Diana, you suffer so much with your sinuses. If nothing else, use this. And I said, okay, I've tried everything else. So why not? I want you to know that I, I don't know if you're familiar with this drug called Dami, Damista. It's very expensive. Uh, I went to the pharmacist and they said, when she came up with my prescription order, she said, that'll be 400 and $499.50. I went on, I said, and 50 cents? <laughs> you mean 499 wasn't enough? And 50 cents? She said, yes, 499.50. I said, and the, the short of that is, I used that, got some relief, and, but still no real breathing. I would wake up in the morning that I really would have to unglue my eyes I was snorting and sniffling, and I was not pretty at all to be around. When I used that first defense, and I'm really quite upset that it's sold out, but not to worry, because when it comes back, I'm getting a case. I'm just going to get my case. I have some of the people on my team who have promised to send me one of theirs. I am waiting, team members. I don't care how many I receive from. I have Zelle, how we want to be paid, PayPal, whatever. I just want every listener to know that first defense is really just awesome. I've used Netty Pots, you name it, I have used it. I've done everything but bury my head in the sand trying to get rid of my sinuses. That first defense is awesome. I do use the spray. I don't just use one nostril. I sprayed it up in both and I don't, I, I'm just breathing more freely. It's just it was the answer for me. Right. I could go on and on and on and on, but I won't because I know there's a two minute list. I've probably gone to three and that's okay. That's just how good first defense is. <laughs> I just want you to know. All right. <laughs> I'm a living walking testimony. Do you want me to go on or do you just want me to <laughs> let the church say amen? <laughs> okay. Amen, Diana. We got you here amen. for the next for the next four amen. series. Amen. <laughs> amen, amen. Amen. Hallelujah and amen. <laughs> if it works, it works. It works. You don't know the migraine headaches I've had from this sinus. I need saying. your phone number so you can talk to two ladies. I can't get to get it. <laughs> four three four. 846-1818. I want the world to call. I don't care who has the number. 434-846-1818. Somebody put I that in the chat. I will gladly share. Put it in the chat. Put Somebody put it. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> I you have one welcome. Customer. This is Cherie. I have one customer. She really suffered from sinuses. And she started using that. But you could just hear it in her voice. She started using that. And she, she's 100% better. She's a hundred percent better. And I, she just told me she hadn't had to use it in two weeks. And she was never like that. She always really, she, you could just hear it, hear the congestion and just yes. hear it in her. And she is, she is so happy with that. Awesome. And also, um, Linda, my, my one guest, she had to leave. But I think she had put a question. No, I'm in still the here. Chat. I'm still here. No, it was another Linda. I had two Lindas okay. on the deck. But, um, <laughs> she had a question. I think she put in the chat. Could she use the essential oils on her um, one-year-old grandchild? Well, when it comes to essential oils in children, we really want you to... to one-year-old is quite young, and I guess I need to know specifically how she wants to use it because they definitely have to be diluted. Number one, their skin is so new that you, know, you want it to be diluted. 
um, and I need to know how she wants to use it. Was it in conjunction? Like what the condition was that she's okay. trying to, to use it for. Okay. So diffusing is always a good way to use essential oils for children. Okay. Um, topically, it would really depend on what we're doing because we don't, kids, uh, usually I don't suggest under the age of five a lot of times not to use essential oils, but if, if you're diffusing it, they're going to get it through inhalation, right? Mm -hmm. um, to use something topically, their skin is so sensitive. I would just need to know what it is specifically before I could even answer that question. I'll have her email you. Okay, that would be mm -hmm. fine. But I, yeah, but I'm glad that she's asking that question because you don't mm -hmm. want to just start young children. They're very powerful oils. And mm -hmm. You just want to make sure you use them properly. So, mm -hmm. so thank you for that. Yeah. And I did go to our website. The 15 milliliter is sold out of the first defense, but we have the five milliliters. They are in stock. So there's still some first defense well, for now. <laughs> <laughs> you got, a, you got one more question, I believe. Oh, is there? Okay, I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Let me see. I'm trying to get back into my chat here. Hmm. I can't see it from here. What am I? Uh, somebody asked what essential oil is good for hearing loss. For hearing loss. Um, once again, I don't want to answer it off the cuff without knowing more details because um, there's different types of hearing loss. And is it considered a permanent loss? So I would need to probe that further. Um, can they email me with more specifics at Karen, KarenWakana at gmail.com? I'm not sure who that was, Dr. Roz, that sent that. Uh, that was uh, Liz. Liz? Yeah, Liz, reach out to me by email and... Um, yeah, she said I, yes, she okay. will. Great. Um, so, well, I appreciate all the questions. I don't see any more questions through the chat. I don't know if you've seen any. <clears throat> no, that's it. And 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 I understand this even regarding CBD and essential oils. A lot of times, of course, we always say that we we can't cure or we, we don't make any claims. But oftentimes, some things can't be. Um, or should I say some things can't be fixed, but you can help with the issues that a person is dealing with because of it. Like for instance, if a person is on dialysis, Dr. Rita teaches that, you know, they need a, they need a kidney, right? Um, so you can't, you, you can't go back and fix that, but that you can't be replaced. Yeah, that has to be replaced. You can't fix that, but you can help with what they're dealing with, like the nausea or they're dealing yeah, with symptoms like sleep. From or yeah. the, you're dealing with the pain. So even with a person with hearing loss probably is dealing with anxiety because mm -hmm. they can't hear, they, they're you know, having to go through this over and over again, it's frustrating. So a lot of times there, there are things that can help them better have their way of life back. Because right. when, when you lose certain things now, you know, it's just frustrating. You know, like when I do the teaching of the woman who had the issue of blood for all that length of time, it's more than just a blood loss. She was frustrated. She was broke. She was, you know, <laughs> it's whole, whole slew of stuff that you're going through when you're sick over a period of time, right. mentally, emotionally, and psychologically. And so a lot of times the products help that, even they don't help the particular ailment, exactly. they, help, they help everything else. And then that changes your whole being. And then sometimes it starts, because that changes, your health gets better. Relax, yeah. And that triggers my thinking about COVID that, you know, some of the symptoms some people experience is a loss of smell. And while essential oils, they will work from the standpoint of, they work to the symptoms that you need to have them work towards, even if your smell is reduced. So I'm not saying essential oils will bring back your smell, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that, like for example, eucalyptus, 
will help in terms of opening your nasal passages, helping reduce any sinus pressure, will also help in all the other ways we discussed, but in terms of COVID and one of the symptoms being a loss of smell, it could, if you will, help ease part of that condition. I'm not saying it solves it because we don't know why you lost it in the first place because that's part of a COVID condition. So, um, so the benefit of the essential oils is using them, using them correctly and paying attention to your health. I mean, what we want to do is be preventative. We don't want you to get <laughs> the ailment in the first place, but you know, we're, we're a Western society. So we treat typically after something has happened. So what we're providing these seminars for is to offer you a preventative process. So as we keep our sinuses open, our nasal passages safe and buffered from bacteria and germs, all these things are preventing us from breathing in bad air, from, from developing stress, you know, from like peppermint helps keep your headaches away. And in that process, it's reducing the tension and it's, you know, so it's, it's a lot of multiple benefits layered on top of each other, but we have to be consistent in our usage in terms of creating daily habits and keeping, if you will, chemical. I'm Dr. Rita McGuire. I'm the chief medical officer for Wakana. Sorry about that. That's okay. So I was like, wow, Dr. Rita's here. <laughs> <laughs> So I, I just say all of that to say the reason we're running the series is that there's so much information and there's so many great products we have that, and, and everybody's testimonials about layering those products. I mean, I think it's great how we're using them and now we're sharing that information that this will benefit all of us in the long run. So I guess we get to call it a day. All right, sounds good. And Mom Mitchell did put something in there suggestion for her uh, concerning some studies that have shown chiropractic. Oh, yeah. Um, some studies oh. shown some patient hearing was restored by chiropractic adjustments. So that could be something, something to look into. All right. So guys, get back with the person that invited you. Um, they have a website. They have a website that has everything we've been talking about, and they will be able to share any other information. Karen gave us her information. Uh, we're going to be back here next week, same time, same space, uh, going into some other areas of, of, of focus here. We're going to do this for at least, well, probably the whole month of March, um, dealing with the essential oils and then some of the CBD products that we'll touch on, but mostly focusing on the various essential oils. So we can better use them. So we can better use them. Because I didn't even know how to use, I didn't really real, realize that I should have been focusing my godmother on using the hempranium and the black seed oil. So I can't wait for next week. So <clears throat> thank you so much. Mom Mitchell. Thank you for the questions and the feedback. See, we're, we're helping each other out. So we know and hope it was beneficial. Thank you, thank you ladies. Thank you. Jerry. Thank you as well. Thank Very good presentation. Guys. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you, everybody. Enjoy Thank the rest you. of your Sunday.
Do me a favor, those of you that are still here, they can turn your cameras on. Will you turn it on so I can take a picture? <laughs> she turned the camera off. <laughs> Anybody that can turn your camera on, turn it on. Come on, come on, come on. Give me some more, give me some more. <laughs> no, I can't turn my camera on. <laughs> Take that picture that's up there. <laughs> this was great, Dr. Ron. All right. And Karen, you and Karen, y'all did a great job. Oh my goodness. Yeah, thank you. Oh, it was great. Thank it was you. great. I enjoyed it. I learned a lot of information about those essential oils. That's good. Oh, good. The totally music is great. The music is great as always. Dr. Ross <laughs> makes it great. She does. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All Karen, right, you brought it on, Karen. It was good. That was excellent information. Thank you both. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, thank you. Thank guys. you, everybody. You did an excellent job, Karen. Excellent. Oh, thank you, Elizabeth. Yeah. I can't I, I told y'all she was the bomb.com. She did. really is. Yes. 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 That's been a thank secret you. weapon. A secret weapon. But, but we yes, fixing to expose her. Yes. 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 Come on, wait now. until the next presentation. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, and I'm looking forward to it. And Thank Diana, you. You, yes. get, you get the testimony of the award to, award today. How did, I tell you what, I owe it all to God and to Wakana for life. All right. Yes. Or any yes. event. Or any event. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yvette said, I'll tell you the one about essential oil. I'll tell you about the people. She, so she got testimonies. In, in categories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, that is a bag. Oh, my goodness. You see this right here? Oh. Uh oh. I've been, sitting back in, I've been sitting back just observing. I've been in the business since October, but I've been sitting back observing. I'm, a, I'm ready for y'all. <laughs> oh, wow. 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 That looks like my hell, honey. It's yeah. been a road. My God. That looks wow. like my sinus medication. That I was on before with Carla. Wow. Oh, that's right. Mm. I appreciate y'all more than y'all know. This business has been this something has been blessed. Amen. Praise God. Praise Amen. God. I refuse to become an opioid addict. I refuse to take that. Come medicine. on, girl. Amen. Come on. Yeah. I refuse. Uh, I'm glad to hear that. Testify. But I will share with y'all one as we get to that. We'll I'll start sharing more when I'm on here. I'll definitely share. Yeah, you and you just girl, just go on Facebook and start sharing. We're gonna get all these clips of you. Okay. The world needs, <laughs> the world needs to hear this. Erica, Erica's been pushing me to do more of them. I did a sister lock install this weekend, so I haven't really been posting much, but I jumped on with y'all today. I said, let me get on here. Yeah. So, but yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, Erica, just just to share. Hear, it, so. it, it ain't got to be perfect and all that. You just need to share from your heart. That's yep. what people yeah. need to hear. Right. They just yeah. need to hear the truth. That's, That's it. Right. That's, That's it. it. That's it. That's it. All right, all right, everybody. All right, love y'all. Right. I gotta get ready for next one. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Cook some dinner in between. <laughs> <laughs>